friends, Rebecca from Shiny Mountain Zoo, back again with Atka, our six month Alaskan moose calf. And uh, we're just giving you guys a little bit of an update on what's going on with this guy. There's some things happening in his world. Atka here, about six months old, you can see. He's a big boy. Uh, he's grown a lot since him he first got here. Uh, he's about 260, maybe even 270 pounds at this point. And even though he's grown a ton, this guy is got a lot of growing still to do. We must be feeding him well. He's eating his delicious banana snacks. If any of you saw the video last time, I brought a banana from home and he said, no, thank you. But this one looks far better and he's just gonna eat that peel and all. This is by far one of his favorite uh, treats. So big news for Atka is that he has officially been weaned. No more bottles for this big baby here. Uh, it was a hard transition for him. I'm not gonna lie. He did not like no longer having his bottles, but you know, it's time. And mom actually would have told him no more nursing a little while ago. And he's eating this lovely browse here. You can tell that the elm is starting to not have the luscious leaves that it did, but of course, we're moving into our fall and soon winter months. So he's just going to have to uh, enjoy the bark. But to be honest, he really loves the bark. In fact, he's always loved the elm bark. So he's going to uh, spend his winter months just peeling all the brows that we can give him. So he's still gonna be happy with that. You saw the banana, we've got brows, and then the other thing that we're giving him is a special grain, and it's made for young um, hoof stock. So it has the extra stuff that he needs in it. And so he does get grain on a daily basis as well and overnight. And so if you ever come by the exhibit, and he's looking hungry, just know he always has access to his grain and hopefully browse. We try to still feed him multiple times a day. And, you know, just, it was time to say goodbye to the bottles. And any of you that have had kiddos that you've had to um, get off of like a pacifier or something like that, you know, it can be not the happiest time for them. So he did uh, put up a big fight about it, but he's on the other end and we're all good. He's feeling really good these days. We've actually been starting to see a lot more zoomies and some kicking and some running and playing with toys. We've got this like fun little area over here where there's some things hanging on it. Yesterday, he was plowing through that and playing around with that. And so we're actually seeing like the real moose calf kid play that we were um, really uh, enjoying watching him do all that. So the last really big piece of news for this guy is that today we're actually going to work on expanding his yard so it's time that he gets most of the yard now to be fair he doesn't get the pool just yet uh, but yeah he's going to hopefully have that whole grassy knoll and all that space to run around and really get his zoomies out and so we're super excited about that prospect and we'll be seeing how that goes over the next week now he is actually getting access at night too so he gets to have the outside time as well so big steps here for Atka and you know not all of us love cold weather I am not one of the people that really gets excited about snow and cold but I'm in the company of somebody who does so his favorite time of year is coming snow cold look at him he's ready he's got the thick coat he's got the ear fur and he is just made for the cold snowy weather and so if you're at home and you're looking to get out and play around in the snow as it comes along think about joining little atka here also if you're up in the neighborhood i'd check out our otters too because they love the snow as well so the rocky mountain wild exhibits have animals that get really excited about it and uh, we look forward to seeing him frolicking in the snow as well as part of his development so atka is doing great thanks for joining us on this little update here and we'll see you guys next time